I like when you're talking about like the other four billion, and I have a question about exchanges. Uh, uh, in your opinion, what is the best practice to build exchanges in the developing <coughs> world? And uh, I mean, personally, I love Bitcoin, but I'm not comfortable with this uh, central bank of Bitcoins that we call exchanges. Yeah. Um, so this question is about uh, supporting the other four billion or the other six billion, depending on how you count. Um, and what is the issue is. Um, Exchanges are very centralized. They're custodial, which means they hold Bitcoin for people, and that represents a significant risk for Bitcoin users. Not Bitcoin itself, but certainly Bitcoin users who can lose their money. Um, we don't have too many perfect solutions right now. There are a few small-scale decentralized systems. Um, BitSquare, for example, is one. It's still in beta. It's still very small-scale. There are some more decentralized systems, local bitcoins, right, which allow you to do person-to-person -person cash transactions. And the one thing that cash has that's similar to bitcoin is that it can be verified upon presentation. It doesn't depend on any counterparty. You hold it, you own it, right? So exchanging cash for bitcoin is the most secure way to get bitcoin. But actually the best way to get bitcoin is not to buy. It. The best way to get bitcoin is to earn it by the expenditure of your labor. So dedicate your labor to Bitcoin and you achieve two goals at the same time. One, you are earning Bitcoin from the people who can pay you in Bitcoin. And two, you have removed your labor from the machinery of the state, which was using your labor to build bombs. That is my personal philosophy. So two birds, one stone. <laughs> I am in on the good side, I am out on the bad side. 